Folks, just a reminder once again that the uh, <clears throat> the next class in the ring for the International Guernsey Show is going to be the Guernsey Railroad Railbird Judging Contest, the senior two-year-old cows. Once again, there's still time if you want to join this. Free, it's a free contest. You can win a great prize. Download Expo's mobile event app and create a user profile. And don't forget to enable your app notification preferences in the settings for the Railbird Judging Contest. Uh, submit your top four back tag entry numbers and see how you stack up against our judges. Good luck.
And judges Ted and Kevin have made their selections in the junior two-year-old cow class. We're ready to announce those winners. Our second place junior and junior bred and owned award winner goes to 1294 Twin County Pies Twilight ET, Landry Fraley, Muncie, Pennsylvania. Our third place overall finisher, as well as, bre as the bred and owned award winner goes to Spring Hill PT Craig, Jill ET, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Our second place finisher goes to 1305, NAPS ACC Drone Blast ET, Beth Ann Clark and Chris Reichert, New Paris, Pennsylvania. And our first overall winner, our best utter award winner and junior first place finisher, Hickman Valley's S. Blakely, Brittany Taylor, Grace Schuler, and Layla Schuler, New Glarus, Wisconsin. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Hartman, tell us more about these cows, please. Well, a really nice class of uh, spring junior two-year-olds. But uh, for us today, this first place cow come out, kind of ran away with the class pretty handily. She's just got so much more height than width at the top of the rear rudder. She's a little smoother in the fore rudder. And it's a beautiful frame cow. She gets out here on the move, walks out on a great set of feet and legs. It's a height at the top of the rear rudder and the smoothness, blendiness of the fore rudder. It takes her over another really pretty frame cow that comes out here in second. This cow in second, she's just got tremendous openness, depth, dairy strength all the way through. It's that dairy strength, the width back through her rump that takes her over a real high style cow that comes out here in third. Cow in third, a cow that uh, you get out here, you admire this cow, she's really stylish from the side view. You get, when you get behind her, you just like to widen her out in the rump, rump and give her a little more height and width right at the top of the rear rudder. But it's that overall dairiness, the cleanliness all the way through that takes her over this cow coming out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, she's just a little snugger right at the top of that rear rudder, a little bit nicer right in, her, in the uh, fore rudder attachment, and she's got so much more width and strength to chest as she moves out. Cow comes out here in fifth, a real dairy cow, a cow you'd like to give a little more strength, but another cow that wears a really high wide rear rudder. It's that height and width the rear rudder, the youthfulness of her frame and her udder all the way through that takes her over the big powerhouse cow coming out next. 